Frank. Get that, Frank. Get that, Frank. Hey! If your last name is Carr and you're from Bakersfield, California, chances are you know a thing or two about football. Oh, he wrapped him up. He wrapped him up. You touched me, Tate. It's over. Red Eddy! Red Eddy, son! One for one. For Roger, David, and Darren Carr, football follows directly after faith and family. The same can be said for the youngest member of their family, Oakland Raiders quarterback, Derek Carr. In 2014, I've been drafted the mighty Oakland Raiders, Derek Carr. Yeah! Drafted 36th overall in the 2014 NFL Draft, Derek has been vital to the steady resurgence of the silver and black. Carr's going to throw, pumps, looks end zone, throws for the end zone, wide open! Touchdown, Raiders! I remember when he was when he was brought home. You know, I was nine years old, and we were tough on him, right? I mean, we were, he had to grow up quick. You kind of knew the talent was there. You knew the, the work ethic was there. Since he was named starting quarterback week one of his rookie season, Derek has developed into a two-time Pro Bowler and NFL MVP candidate who led the Raiders to their first playoff berth since 2002. You can't throw it any better than Carr just did. The Raiders are in the playoffs. Love y'all, man. Y'all know that, man. With everything in me, I love y'all to death. Hey, let's win, man. Win on three. One, two, three, win. win. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, we gotta go now. We gotta go. As you can tell, he loves playing. He's very emotional and he's gonna give you 100%. That's the biggest thing. I just seen him carry that on. High school, he won a championship in Houston, came out here, won a league and valley championship out here, went to Fresno, won two more. That's the thing that drives him. And all my boys is this winning championships. I mean, if you're a coach or a player, that's what you play for. All right, let's go. Let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Long pass to the fullback. Jameis Olawale in the clear. Touchdown, Oakland. You talk about a guy who has uh, the amount of drive that you would not believe. You talk about a guy that wants to get better in literally everything that he does. There's always room to improve, and I'm going to work to try and do that. I just want to make sure that Every day I'm coming out here, uh, I'm working my tail off so that I get better. People say they want to be great, but they don't want to put the time in. Like Derek wakes up, and if he hears about someone else getting up earlier than him, he'll set his clock back one minute. And that's no joke. Like that's that's him. But he's got a fire in him, you know, to be great. Let's go! This is the boys' gym. Uh, football's been very, very good <laughs> to my boys. Derek, in high school, in college, he'd wear a Batman shirt. And, uh, but Dave had to tell him during a game, you don't have to be Batman all the time. I don't know if you've heard that story. Like, you don't have to make that wow throw. You don't have to put the cape on and make that wow throw every play. Be Bruce Wayne, right? Manage the play, take what they give you, complete passes. Then every now and then, when you have to put the cape on and make that ridiculous throw, then you put the cape on, you be Batman. So that's what that's all about. Batman aside, a key part of Derek Carr's football education occurred during his brother David's tenure with the Houston Texans. I was in the NFL 12 years before I even played a game myself. You know, I, I was in a shadow at practice, throwing to his receivers, going through his quarterback drills. Uh, I never could beat him in the drills, but I beat his other backups, uh, you know, at 12 and 13 years old. David would be preparing and watching film in his office while well, Derek just, you know, where his big brother went and, and sat down and he'd watch game film for hours. He wanted to know everything. He taught me how to compete. He taught me these things and made it easy for me uh, you know, when I got my chance. Hey, so. everybody. Hi. What's up, Derek Carr? Good to see you guys. You're really derailing everything right now. You are, you're, really <laughs> just take, you're taking off all the brotherly yeah, thanks, love. Man. Look at this. It By the way, Let's everybody, it it's family day at Raiders Camp. Oh, man. Like, Hug your family. Tell them you love them. These days, Football brings the tight-knit Carr family even closer. How excited are you guys as a collective? Oh, well, uh, forget that. This looks We're really not even going to talk we about have, football we anymore. We have another is, uh, brother. My brother, yeah. Darren. Darren. 
Do we have a size limit for this chair? Yes. Okay, we're good. Currently at the maximum. Kind of, kind of the max <laughs> we're currently at the maximum. We're at the maximum weight for the chair. Um, Daddy, what are you doing? Daddy, what are you Daddy, doing? What are you doing? Uh, a lot of nonsense, son. This is complete nonsense. We've actually completely ruined the NFL network I at this moment. The, the charisma and leadership Derek has always been known for reflects his solid upbringing, and has become one of the most valuable assets in the Raiders' locker room. Everybody goes to practice. Everybody watches film. Everybody does that. But what separates you? What makes you different? Why well, sit back and give anything less than your best? I want the very best for you. Obviously, because if you're at your best, and we can win the Super Bowl. That's all that matters. My respect for Derek and his hard work and, and the way that he's committed to getting better and better uh, as a quarterback, as a leader, as a teammate each and every day, that makes me want to just continue to support him in any way that I can. Hold on, hold on. You, I, I, I like that you're ready, though. Not going to lie, I like that. Just his leadership, he's very accountable. You know, everybody look up to him. The maturity level of, of him and everything else and the way he carries himself is at a high level. DC has always been a, a leader. He groups the guys together, um, the commands the offense in a way. But he also has got a command over everybody. In a, in a sense, and so um, that's what you want to see from your quarterback, and um, that's what he's been showing us. You know what time it is. Right. I don't care about nothing else. Let's win. Guy throws, catch Seth Roberts, breaks the tackle. He's down. When I first got here, we weren't winning too many games. Let's just say it like that. The culture's changing. Everyone's having fun. You know, there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs, but as long as we continue to get better, that means we're heading in the direction that I want to head in. 93. Derek's work ethic and leadership, instilled by his family, fuels his unwavering commitment to the game, even through the setbacks. Oh, oh, it's broke. It's broke. Boy, this is hard to believe. The entire AFC playoff picture just took a strange turn here as the Raiders quarterback has helped to the sideline. Seeing him roll around the ground was kind of, it, it, it was tough. You know, like, oh, get up, man, get up. No, you can get up. Come on, come on. And to find out he actually broke it was really tough. People were crying. <laughs> you see the work that they put in. And um, to get to that point, I know how hard he worked and what he prepared for and, you know, 12, 14 hour days. And okay, is there anything else I need to do to get that team to that point? And uh, so that, that man, he, he, he's never missed games. And that was like, that was tough on him. That, that was hard on him. But hey, come back just as strong. And now he's even more determined this year, so. Back up and running like new, number four is ready to pick up where he left off. After signing a five-year contract extension in June, the husband and father of two is on his way to joining the ranks of the greatest players to ever wear the silver and black. Carr looking left, lobbing for the end zone for Roberts. Touchdown, Raiders! I believe Derek Carr is the best young gun in the NFL. He can run for the first down here, maybe dives for it. Over the top, first down, what a play by Derek Carr. Growing up a Raider fan my whole life, Kenny Stabler is my favorite quarterback. And uh, now, dude, he's got that silver and black helmet on, you know, <laughs> with the, the Raider emblem. And you're just like, and then you just start thinking about all the past great players that played at Oakland. You're just, oh my gosh, what a blessing. As the former Bakersfield Christian High quarterback remains true to the values that have shaped him on and off the field, his family anticipates a bright future for him and the Raiders. It makes us uh, excited. I uh, can't wait to see Derek do great in the future. Just the work ethic he has. When your best players are working their hardest, you can see Derek there until he wants to retire. Cover your ears, bro, earmuffs. It's going to be fantastic to watch next year, watching this guy come back. So. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. All the, all the way.